Hi everyone, Lewis here, back again for a great video down here in the tour shed. It's quite an exciting one. So, I've got a brand new driver. So some of you may know, last year I was playing the TaylorMade Sim and they have released a new one. So, is the Sim 2. So I'm going to be playing this one this year. So this is a quick little video just to compare both of them against each other. So, I'm going to hit a few balls of each. So like for like, so they're both the same shaft, same degree. So I just want to see which one actually performs better. So I'm definitely going to be playing the Sim 2 this year, but let's find out some more. So just a few little differences this year between last year's Sim and this year's Sim 2. The main difference being this aluminium ring around the back of this blue bit here. So it's solid metal, as you can tell. And it gives a little bit of a different construction to the club. It allows for a lot more carbon fibre. So a lot of the weight has been taken out and is now able to be moved around a lot more in the head. So as we can see, the difference is there's a lot more carbon. So you look on the bottom there, the majority of the base of the club is carbon fibre. The crown, of course, like last year, same amount of carbon on top there. But with this aluminium frame and the amount of carbon they can now put in it, we can see there's different weighting. So the weight on the back here is slightly bigger. Um, but then there's also a weight at the front here, which you can't move. Unlike last year's, we've got the movable weight. But it's there. You know it's there. And throughout the range, you've got the SIM2, SIM2 Max, and then the SIM2 Max D. So... On each of the three drivers, the weight is slightly different. You've got the SIM 2, obviously, down in the middle here. The SIM Max is then slightly more towards the hill, just to make it a little bit more forgiving. And then the SIM Max D is all the way at the bottom there, just to make it as draw-biased as possible. So let's give the SIM 2 a go. Let's see how they both perform. So first of all, I'm going to hit five shots with my current sim get some basic numbers just so we can compare the sim 2 to it and see the differences see where the new driver benefits and how it's going to benefit my game so i'm on the 18th hole at pebble beach just been on tv over the weekend so makes it a little bit relatable let's see if i can hit the fairway it's quite a tight one don't want to go left but hopefully this sim from last year mine is going to work very well i really did love the driver throughout the year and it did work really well for me. Look at that, straight down the fairway. Nice. Let's get the other four shots done. I'll see you in a minute. Now I've got the SIM 2 in my hands. As you can see, a fair few of those of the SIM went a little bit left. I have found that maybe it's not as consistent as I'd like a driver to be, but hopefully this SIM 2 is going to find me more fairways, go the same sort of distance, but if I can hit more fairways, that would be brilliant. So let's see how it does. Looking down on it as well, the carbon fibre is definitely a little bit darker than last year's. But that is the only real difference I can see in terms of look. So for me, switching from the Sim to the Sim 2 is going to be a nice, easy transition. There's not going to be much difference in the heads. Apart from, obviously, the build. So you've got the aluminium ring around the back, and there's a lot more carbon fibre. So the weighting is going to be something I need to get used to. But in terms of looks, it's going to be nice and easy. So let's get these five shots done, see how it compares, and we'll see you in a moment.
Okay, guys, as you can see behind me, we've got all the averages from the shots. So I've picked the best three out of the five shots for each driver. At the top, we've got the sim. At the bottom in purple, we've got the sim two. So we can see some differences, some slight differences. So from the heads being the same loft and the shaft being the same, we're only going to see little changes, but it's great to see those changes, especially in a driver that's only a year older. So ball speed, we have gained 1.9 miles an hour. Brilliant. Launch has also gone up a little bit and the spin has come down. So what that's going to mean, ball's going to launch slightly higher and roll out slightly further. At the end, we can see the carry in total. So there's one yard difference in between each driver. But the main thing I'm focusing on here is the graph in the top right hand corner. As you can see, in purple is the Sim 2. It's gone a lot straighter. It found the fairway the majority of the time, even getting a little fade out of it. So for me, that's much more what I'm going to be going for. The Sim, my Sim before, like I was saying before, it was going left into the water, not ideal. If I can get a club going the same distance, but it's going to hit the fairway every time, perfect. So for me, the Sim 2 is staying in my bag. Can't wait to use that on the golf course. I'll see you all very soon.